Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. I'm so grateful for you all. Today we're going to learn how to make the linked double crochet and the linked triple crochet. So let's get started. You can start off with any number of stitches that you want to. It can be odd or even. We're going to start off with an uneven number of chains. So I can have an even number of chains, an even number of stitches. So let's begin. This loop on your hook counts. Do not yarn over. And the reason that is, is because when you go into your next loop, that's considered a yarn over. So you're going to skip that first stitch. Go in, yarn over and pull up a loop. Go into the next stitch as well. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And now make your double crochet just like you would normal. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now, when you've made that double crochet there, there's a link in the front right here. You're going to go right into that loop. That's the front one. This is the back one. You're going to go into that front loop there. So don't yarn over. Go right into that front loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And then go into the next chain with your hook. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Now you have three on your hook. Go ahead and make your double crochet just like you would as normal. Again, do not yarn over. Go into that next stitch and yarn over and pull up a loop. Go into the next one again. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And what that does is it links the next two double crochets together. So it'll link that second one to the third one. So again, go into that loop in the front and pull up your loop. Then go into the next one, yarn over and pull up your loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And you do that all the way across. So into your stitch, pull up your loop. Go into the next one, pull up another loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And just keep doing that all the way across. I'm going to meet you when we get closer to the end of the row. So I'm back. And now we're at the last stitch. Go ahead and go into that loop in the front. And then go into your last stitch. Yarn over, pull up your loop, and make your double crochet. And that is your linked double crochet. So now, instead of chaining, we're just going to turn our work, pull your loop up just a little bit, and we're going to make a single crochet stack, which makes it look like a double crochet. So instead of yarding over, go right into that first stitch and make a single crochet. And now there's two loops again, one in the back and one in the front. You're going to go into that back loop and make a stack and make another single crochet. And this is what's called a single crochet stack. Now, some people call it a double crochet stack. It doesn't really matter as long as you get what it is. So now once you've made that, remember you have your little gap in the front. You have your little post in the front. So go into that post. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Go into your next stitch and pull up your loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And as you can see, it's a nice straight edge there. If you want to chain, you can, but it doesn't come out right if you chain in the beginning of that row. It's best to do that double crochet stack. So now again, go into that front loop there. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Go into your next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And then yarn over and pull through two. Oops. And pull through two. And just keep doing that same thing. Go into that front bar right there. Yarn over and pull up your loop. Go into the next one. Yarn over, pull up your loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And just keep doing that over there across. Make sure you go into that front bar there. Yarn over and pull up your loop. Into the next one. Yarn over and pull up your loop. And make your double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to keep going, making my way all the way to the cross, across, and when we come back, we're going to make a triple linked 
crochet into that first one into the next one pull up your loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and I'll be back I went ahead and made another row of just plain double crochets so you can see the difference in the two. So this has a few gaps in there, whereas opposed to your link double crochet, everything is nice and close. This is the front, and that's what the back looks like. So you can see a significant difference between your regular double crochet and your linked double crochet. So let's go into our linked triple crochet. So just like we did on this end, we're going to make some stacked single crochets. So don't yarn over. Just go ahead and turn your work. And go into that first stitch, just like you're making a single crochet, and make a single crochet. Then again, you're going to go into that loop in the back of your work. So remember, there's the front loop, and this is your back loop. You're going into that back loop, yarn over and pull up your loop, and make a single crochet. Now, one more time, because we're making a triple crochet, do that one more time, and there is your triple crochet. So now for this, it's the same thing, except we're going to go into more loops than we did with your double crochet. So don't yarn over, go right into that back loop there, yarn over and pull up your loop. And then again, go into the bottom one and yarn over and pull up your loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Now, go into that next stitch again with your hoop, your loop, your loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Now, you should have four on your loop. And then go ahead and make your triple crochet. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now, again, we're going to go into those back loops here. So don't yarn over, go right into the back loop and pull up your loop and do the same on the bottom, yarn over and pull up your loop. Now into your next stitch, yarn over and pull up your loop. So as you can see, that first loop comes from that next double crochet. The first two comes from the next, the previous triple crochet. So now go ahead and yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, do that again. Go into that back loop back there, right into this loop back here, yarn over, pull up a loop, then do the same on the bottom, yarn over, pull up a loop, then go into the next one. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So just keep repeating that all the way across into that back loop and pull up a loop. Into the back loop, pull up a loop. Go into your next stitch and pull up your loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now just keep repeating that all the way across until you get to the end. Again, I'll do one more on camera. Yarn over and go into that back loop. Go into the back loop. Pull up your loop. Go into the next stitch. Pull up your loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And that's how you make your linked triple crochet. So when I come back, I'll have a row of my linked triple crochets and a row of just regular triple crochets so that you can see the difference. I'll be back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what it looked like at the end of the row. I'm doing my last triple crochet. And remember, we made that stack in the beginning of the row. Um, well, you have your regular and then go into that last stitch, grab that loop, oops, and then pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Okay. So now let's just make a regular triple crochet. Um, sorry, we're going to do that stack again. So go ahead and pull your loop up a little bit. 
and turn your work. Go in with your first double crochet. Go into that back loop again and again. So there's your triple crochet. Now we're just going to make some regular triple crochets because I want to show you what that looks like. So go ahead and yarn over twice. Go into your next stitch, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And you can see the difference between that linked triple crochet stack or and your regular triple crochet. Okay, so you see the difference. There's more gaps. There's a little bit of a gap in between those as to pose your linked triple crochet and there are no gaps. So this is the back and this is the front. So there are your linked double crochets, your regular double crochet, your linked triple crochets, and your regular triple crochets. So I'm going to finish these triple crochets and I'll be back to show you what that swatch look like. Okay, so I'm done with that row of triple crochet. And again, as you can see, there's gaps in there, just little gaps. In some cases, it's not a big deal. But as you can see, with your linked triple crochet, there are no gaps. So it is a really awesome, awesome stitch. If you want your stitches to be nice and close, just remember when you're at the end of your row, you want to make your double stack or your triple stack with those single crochets. Again, some people call it a single crochet stack. Some people call it a triple, uh, a double crochet stack or a triple crochet, whatever you want to call it. But that is what that looks like. There are here are our linked double crochets, and here are the regular double crochets. Then we have our linked triple crochets, and then just the regular double crochet uh, triple crochets. So that's how you make your linked double and triple crochets. This is actually the front, and this is the back. Very nice. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Crochet. Have a great day. Bye-bye.